My people, is Femi Fanny Kaya Day again now? Huh? Is your brother Femi Fanny Kaya Day? He say where well, uh, Peter will be PDP Atiko should give up the presidential race and support Tinubu that they will be compensated. Are you listening? That they will be compensated. He said because um, he has told them before that they will never win. Of course, it's called a tactics where everybody wants to win. And so what, one of the things, if you watch wrestling when you were growing up, when somebody comes on the stage, on the, on the, you see them that they will begin to roar and begin to try to intimidate the other opponent so that the person can feel fear. Fear is a serious defeat even before the matter takes place. When you fear, you, already be, you have already been defeated. Even before the matter is started, the person is already defeated. You see, so these are some of the things that are happening some of the things that are going on and why every one of us must you know consider things very critically before we go on to make some very drastic decision our very own brother at uh, Femi Fanikayode is only working for his money uh -huh. remember that he has been paid he has to deliver uh -huh. so this is what is happening right now please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details Peter will be Atiku PDP, give up your presidential race, support Tinubu, you'll be well compensated. The former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayode, has called on the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Alaji Atiku Abubakar and that of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, to give up their presidential race and support, Atik, to support Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, that they will be duly compensated and rewarded accordingly. Women for Nikayode anchored is called on claim that PDP is cursed. The All Progressive Congress APC chieftain was reacting to an incident that occurred during the PDP presidential rally in Uyo, Akwaibom State, the capital. In the viral video, people at the rally could be heard chanting name of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi while Atiku was present and it was supposed to be the opening of his rally. However, Femi Fani Kayode wondered how Atiku felt when the crowd started singing and chanting Obi's name as against his name. In a tweet, the former minister wrote, Imagine how Atiku felt when the crowd started singing and, shouting and chanting Obi's song at the very maiden rally of the Uyo, at the very maiden rally of Uyo, uh, beginning of the election. What exactly is happening? How did he feel? PDP is clearly cursed. Atiku should give up and not waste his money. He should join Tinubu. He should support Tinubu and he'll be duly compensated. Himself and Peter Obi should join Tinubu so they can get the desired compensation that they need instead of wasting their money. You are forgetting that uh, Peter Obi is not spending his money. Okay, so to say, Nigerians are the ones sponsoring him. Nigerians are the ones who are going on now to sponsor Peter Obi saying, you know, we want this man to get to this position because they feel safe. They feel that the country can be well represented under him. So the Nigerians are the ones now going and saying, yes, we, we want this man to become Nigerians leader and are doing everything humanly speaking possible to bring, you know, to bring the country out of the current predicament. And they are supporting this very person. You've forgotten. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on that we all must pay attention to and not, you know, and not just pretend that we can't see, you know, the, the position where we begin to pretend and we behave as if we're not aware of what is going on. This has really led to, you know, the country being in the very terrible state that she currently is right now. If you look, know Femi very well, Femi is only being, you know, is only taking care of the person who has given him the opportunity, okay, to be to be in the party and to also have a word. This man is not somebody that they even trust in the very party that he's in right now. They don't trust him. The very party is in right now, they don't trust him. He's, so, he's someone that they don't trust. So these are some of the things that are going on and why, you know, we are working at it and we're waiting patiently to see how, you know, and what will come out later. So Nigerians, let's work at it. Let's ensure that the truth is being manifested. Let's do everything humanly speaking possible and bring Nigeria out of the present predicament. 
so that the nation can move forward. Okay, so the nation can move forward. If we don't arise, if we don't stand and we don't defend the cause of what we believe, some persons will take advantage of all that belongs to us. So what are we doing and why are we not, you know, rising up for the right candidates and we're allowing the same people over and over again who have not in any way showed that they care for the very essence of this country and they want the country to be safe? Why are we allowing them to manipulate us? Why are we allowing that? You see, so these are some of the things happening and why again and again, every one of us, okay, we must rise up to the occasion. Peter will be Atiku Abubakar Tinubu are not the only presidential candidates. There are other presidential candidates who also want to become Nigerians' leaders. What are you doing? Have you taken time to investigate these people? Have you taken time to ensure that you know who these people are and what they could possibly be standing for? So much so that you know you can speak and you're sure that the decisions you're making are the right one. Are you sure? Because if we if we leave things the way they are, things will not move forward. I can assure you for free. If we leave things the way they are, if we don't speak out and we just leave things the way they are, I can assure you that the, the nation will not move forward. So let's arise to it. Let's ensure that we are all in it together, all hands on deck. That's the way we can possibly get the difference we all envisage. That's the way we can truly get it. Other than that, you and I will be shocked and surprised at some of the things that are going on. Peter Obis is presenting himself to serve. Atiku Abubakar and the rest of them are given opportunity, you know, to serve. They are presenting themselves and giving Nigerians and saying, we want to serve you. Are we accepting the service? Are we, are we putting ourselves, you know, in that position to receive people who could really sincerely have our interest at heart or just anybody? You see, so these are some of the things that are happening and why we all we want accord must do the right thing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember that you have a voice. Remember that every one of us must speak out, okay, and ensure that no one holds us down in positions that have held us back for far too long. The time to arise, the time to ensure that these people do not take advantage of us is now. Remember, you have a voice. Remember that we must change the nation as we work together as one. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye.